The year 2021 is a big year for us. So big that the bishops declared a preparation for nine years. A novena of catechesis, of prayer, of action. Nine years of preparation. And then, without our expectation, without our planning, COVID-19 came right on the year before year 2021. And that became the ultimate preparation for the Jubilee of the First Mass in our country. What did we experience during COVID-19? The quarantine, the lockdowns, the fear, the anxiety, the grief of hearing our loved ones die, not being able to hold their hands, and then seeing them only in an urn as ashes. The first is absence. We were told to stay away. We were told to stay at home. The first is absence. We were told to avoid gatherings. We were told to be social distant from one another because we were told also it would help stop the spread of the virus. It was absence. The second experience of 2020 is death. It is death from a mysterious virus that our eyes could not see. It is the reality that death is so real. Every Ash Wednesday, we are reminded, remember, man, you are dust, and unto dust you shall return. And COVID-19 forced us to acknowledge that life can be very fragile and life can be very temporary. At the snap of a finger, we can go. It was death. And it was also anxiety. Anxiety that I could be next. Anxiety that I might contaminate my loved ones. Anxiety coming from uncertainty because we do not know what we are fighting against. And we celebrate the 500th anniversary of the first Mass in our country. And what does it say in relation to COVID-19? Number one, it speaks about presence, not absence. While the COVID-19 protocols dictate upon us to be one meter apart, not to be too close to one another, to stay away from social gatherings, and to stay at home. The Eucharist whispers to us, I am here. I am not far. I am here. The Eucharist is presence. The Eucharist is presence against all odds. That our loved ones might abandon us, or for fear of infection, we have to stay away from, from our loved ones. But the Eucharist simply says to us, I am here, and my name is Emmanuel, God with us, and I will never leave you. COVID-19 asks us the question, are you happy? Some of us cannot answer it without feeling a lump in our throats, without our eyes swelling with tears, because we have become so unhappy. Maybe more important than the question, am I happy is, is my life meaningful? And then we would be able to answer, yes. There is no vaccine against pain. There is no vaccine against aches. There is no vaccine against loneliness. There is only an assurance, I am with you. 
not even sickness, not even death, can make me change my mind in being with you. My name is Emmanuel, God with us. The second lesson of the first Mass in our country in relation to COVID-19 is, My name is life. I am not the king of death. I am the way. I am the truth. I am the life. Life with a capital L. The doctors can extend your life with a small l. Scientists can, ex can extend your life, life with a small l. But only the Lord can give you life with a capital L, life everlasting. And keep in mind, my dear brothers and sisters, when our ancestors celebrated the first Mass in our country, in these islands, they received life. Although we are 500 years away from that great event, the ripples of life continue to reach us. And those ripples will continue until the end of the world, until the second coming of Christ, because our destiny is life in its fullness. Our destiny is not death. In fact, we say, sumakabilang buhay. We do not say namatay, but sumakabilang buhay. We continue with life. Life is not ended. Life is only changed. And in the uncertainty of COVID-19, which sort of prepared us for 2021, the Lord repeats 365 times for the 365 days of the year, do not be afraid. Do not be afraid because I am with you. Do not be afraid because I am alive. Do not be afraid because you are going to live with me. We have many reasons for being afraid. The economy is in shambles. The vaccines are trickling. We have so many reasons for being afraid. Our loved ones cannot be with us. Travel is still restricted. We have many reasons for being afraid. How long? But we have only one reason for not being afraid. God is with us and God is here. And His name is Emmanuel. And His love is real presence. God shows His love for us by that real presence. 500 years ago, we celebrated that momentous event of the first Mass. It is Easter week, and we celebrate that event. And we thank the Lord, because in our uncertainty, the Lord assures us, do not be afraid. In our experience of death, the Lord assures us, I am alive. And whoever drinks my blood and eats my body, my flesh, will have life everlasting. And for those who feel alone, for those who feel lonely, the Lord says to us, I am here. I will always be with you until the end of time. I am sure the first Mass in our country 500 years ago has many more lessons for us to teach. I invite you to pray. I have shared with you the lessons I carry in my heart. I am sure you have many lessons that the Lord may give you in your heart. Allow the Lord to speak to you and ask the Lord, Lord, what do you want to say to me? Lord, what do you want me to do for you? Speak to me, Lord. We are best friends forever. I am listening. Speak to me in your presence. Speak to me because you are my life. Speak to me. You give me reason not to be afraid. Speak to us, Lord.